Acts chapter 28, Amplified Bible. Safe at Malta. After we were safe on land, we found out that the island was called Malta, and the natives showed us extraordinary kindness and hospitality, for they kindled a fire and welcomed us all, since it had begun to rain and was cold. But when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire, a viper crawled out because of the heat and fastened itself on his hand. When the natives saw the creature hanging from his hand, they began saying to one another, Undoubtedly this man is a murderer, and though he had been saved from the sea, justice the avenging goddess has not permitted him to live. Then Paul simply shook the creature off into the fire and suffered no ill effects. But They stood watching and expecting him to swell up or suddenly drop dead. But after they had waited a long time and had seen nothing unusual happen to him, they changed their minds and began saying that he was a god. In the vicinity of that place, there were estates belonging to the leading man of the island named Publius, who welcomed and entertained us hospitably for three days, and it happened that the father of Publi Publius was sick in bed with recurring attacks of fever and dysentery. And Paul went to him, and after he had prayed, he laid his hands on him and healed him. After this occurred, the rest of the people on the island who had diseases were coming to him and being healed. They also gave us many honors, gifts, and courtesies, expressing respect, and when we were setting sail, they supplied us with all the things we needed. Paul arrives at Rome. At the end of three months, we set sail on a ship, which had wintered at the island, an Alexandrian ship with the twin brothers, Castor and Pollux, as its figurehead. We landed at Syracuse on Sicily and stayed there three days. From there we sailed around and arrived at Regium on Italy's southern tip. And a day later a south wind came up, and on the second day we arrived at Vitulio. There we found some believers and were invited to stay with them for seven days. And so we came to Rome, and the brothers and sisters, having heard news about us, came from as far away as the form of Appius, and three ends to meet us. When Paul saw them, he thanked God and was encouraged. When we entered Rome, Paul was allowed to stay by himself in rented quarters with the soldier who was guarding him. Three days later, he called together the leaders of the Jews, and when they had gathered, he said to them, Kins Kinsmen, though I have done nothing against our people or against the customs of our fathers, yet I was turned over as a prisoner from Jerusalem into the hands of the Romans. After they had interrogated me, they were ready to release me because I was not guilty of any offense deserving death. But when the Jews objected to my release, I was forced to appeal to Caesar, Emperor Nero, not because I had any charge to make against my nation. For this reason I have asked to see you and talk with you, since it is for the sake of the hope of Israel, the Messiah, the resurrection, that I am bound with this chain. They said to him, we have not received any letters about you from Judea, nor have any of the Jewish brothers come here and reported or said anything bad about you, but we would like to hear from you and what your views are. That is exactly what you believe, for in regard to this sect, Christianity, we are fully aware that it is denounced everywhere. When they had set a day for Paul, they came to his lodging in large numbers, and he carefully explained Christianity to them from morning until evening, solemnly testifying about the kingdom of God, and trying to persuade them concerning Jesus, both from the law of Moses and from the writings of the prophets. Some were persuaded by what he said, but others would not believe. They disagreed among themselves, and they began to leave Paul, uh, leave after Paul, had made one last statement. The Holy Spirit rightly spoke through Isaiah the prophet to your father, saying, Go to this people and say, You will keep on hearing, but will not understand. You will keep on seeing, but not perceive. For the heart, the understanding, the soul of this people has become dull, caloused, and with their ears they scarcely hear, and they have shut their eyes to the truth. Otherwise they might see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and return to me, and I would heal them. Therefore let it be known to you that this message of the salvation of God has been sent to the Gentiles that indeed will listen. And when he had said these things, the Jews left, arguing among themselves. And Paul lived there for two full years at his own expense, 
in his own rented lodging and welcomed all who came to him, preaching and proclaiming in the kingdom the kingdom of God and teaching about the Lord Jesus Christ with all openness and boldness, unhindered and unrestrained.